罪放火，惨啊死！<laughs> Welcome to Anime Trends. One Piece News. Wayno Arc. Nico Robin will be the key to the final developments of the story. As Oda has made very clear, the Wayno Arc is about more than just beating the Yonko and freeing Wayno. It's about advancing the story of the Void Century, the Rocks Pirates, God Valley Incident, ancient weapons, etc. As such, when it comes to the Straw Hats, no one is more influential to this story than Nico Robin given her unique translation skills and her knowledge of the One Piece world's history as well as the perspective she gained working with Monkey D. Dragon. Duke Dogstrom even made mention of this on Zo for those who remember, and I'm sure Oda included this for a very specific reason. In Chapter 999 Big Mom tells Kaido he is free to kill all of the Straw Hat pirates except for Nico Robin. Kaido asks Big Mom if Charlotte Pudding can read the poem glyphs, but Big Mom says no and she doesn't want to wait anymore. In Chapter 1028 CP0 is given the order of the immediate capture of Nico Robin, regardless of the outcome of the battle between Kaido and Luffy's alliance. And there is also the possibility that Blackbeard may go after Robin as well. Black Maria already said that everyone is after Nico Robin. In the last chapter Brooke reminds us of the vital importance of Nico Robin, no matter which way the battle goes, that woman's existence is key to the force of piracy. Even if Kaido and Big Mom were to be defeated by the end of the arc, there would still be CP0 slash World Government and Blackbeard whom would share a similar interest in Nico Robin, and as such their strategy towards Robin would still end up driving a lot of the story. What are your thoughts about the role Robin will play? Sanji could be even more powerful than what is seen in Chapter 1028. In Chapter 1028 we see Sanji develop exoskeleton and regeneration powers, similar to what his brothers also have. It's important to note that those abilities are standards between all four brothers and are not a specialty for Sanji. What is a specialty for Sanji is the stealth invisibility that his raid suit gives him, hence his name Stealth Black. I bring this up because I noticed that during the fight between Sanji, Stealth Black, and Niji, Electric Blue, Niji used Henry Needle without a raid suit on. This means that it is possible for the brothers to use their specialty moves whenever they want, without the use of a raid suit. This opens up the possibility for Sanji to be able to go invisible without the raid suit. Because remember the fire he can conjure is not his Jerma specialty, it's something different. Since the suit is unlocking some of his Jerma abilities it might also give him the ability to use the stealth aspect of it as he pleases. If this does happen, then Sanji will have all the following abilities under his belt. All the damage Kaido has taken since the start of the Onigashima raid. 1. Chapter 987, all of the scabbards stabbed Kaido while they jumped him. 2. Chapter 991, Kinemon Flame rend Kaido's burrow breath and cut his mouth. 3. Chapter 992, Nekamamushi cut him with a crimson cat dance, Kawamatsu landed a river of the sea in Kaido's face, Inuarashi stabbed him with canine scourge, Kiku landed her fallen snow sides air cuts while Aizo was unloading slicing bullets into Kaido, Reizo reflected point blank a burrow breath at Kaido with his scroll sealing ability followed up by Kenemon, Denjiro, Ashura Doji and Inuarashi landing four consecutive Odin 2 sword style, Paradise waterfalls right on Kaido's. Scar. After that Kaido reverts to his regular form and the fight is mostly off-screen for 8 chapters, though we briefly see Denjiro stab Kaido in the side. 4. Chapter 1000, Kaido gets red rocked by Luffy and slammed into the ground. 5. Chapter 1001, Kaido took Zoro's and Killer's beheading claws and Rengoku on a gyrai, and these might have done nothing but I'm still going to mention them, Luffy's Kong gun. Kid Punk vices him, and Law chucks a landslide at him, mostly as a distraction for his attack next chapter. 6. Chapter 1002, Killer's Sonic Scyther, Luffy's Kong Rifle, Rhino Schneider, and Kong Gatling, which continues into the next chapter, Kid's Punk Slam, yes slamming somebody to the ground does damage, we saw that in Jinbi vs Who's Who, and Law's Gamma Knife. 7. Chapter 1003, Nog Gatling Part 2, Zoro's Black Rope, Dragon Twister. 8. Chapter 1010. Law launches an injection shot right at Kaido's neck, Zoro's uses Ashura, farce of the dead on him which Kaido said will leave a permanent scar, and then Luffy comes in with a conqueror's hockey-coated gut punch and rising uppercut. 
9. Chapter 1015, Kinemon stabs Kaido in the leg with his broken sword. Yamato started fighting Kaido in Chapter 1015 for three off-screen chapters, we see glimpses of them clashing with each other in Chapters 1019 and 1020, and then another three chapters of them fighting off-screen. 10. Chapter 1024, Yamato and Kaido trade Thunder Bagwas. 11. Chapter 1025, Yamato hits Kaido with a hallowed glacier slash, an unaimed attack and divine swiftness, white serpent comboed with a jet culverin from Luffy. 12. Chapter 1026, Luffy elephant guns him into the ground, Mamonosuke bites him, and then Luffy punches Kaido in the face with advanced conqueror's hockey. 13. Chapter 1027, Luffy grabs Kaido by the neck to stop him from going after Mamonosuke and Yamato. Kaido is literally a beast.